everyone. I have a layout for you today. This one is a fall layout. I hope it's not too early to be scrapping last year's fall pictures. So this is my little family and my sister's little family at a pumpkin patch. We don't live in the same city. We live a couple hours away, but we still try and get together and have the kids do, you know, fun things. So um, I'm just barely getting around to documenting it. And I got a really, really cute collection from Pebbles called Midnight Haunting. So I was a guest designer for Pebbles recently. And um, I got this Midnight Haunting collection to work with. It's really, really fun because it's it's got like flowers and butterflies and pumpkins with little hearts on them. I think that it's so versatile because you can use it for fall for Halloween for Dia de los Muertos even because it has those beautiful monarch butterflies and um, Dia de los Muertos is a Latin American holiday where we take time to honor and remember those that loved ones that have passed and in that in the um, in this particular holiday the monarch butterflies represent the souls of those of the um, deceased loved ones coming back to visit and um, so I think it's just because the monarch butterfly migration happens around that same time so it just became associated with the holiday and now you know we use them in decorations um, so yeah it's a it's a really fun collection I really liked it and it's kind of um it's kind of cute. You can see some of the prints. They ha there's fall leaves. There's um, there's um, flowers and stripes and and so you can use it for more than just uh, Halloween. And it's also the the parts of it that are you know straight up Halloween, like bats and ghosts. They're pretty cute. Um, they're cute, but also kind of classy. So it's a, a really nice collection to use because um, I have a, a three-year-old and it, Halloween is not very scary when you have really little kids. So um, I was having a really hard time documenting Halloween because I have a um, Halloween collection that I got in a warehouse sale box and it's kind of, it's it's actually kind of spooky like the design of it it's all kind of very scary very dark and um, I don't have much Halloween stash other than that so I was having a really hard time um, documenting um, Halloween and fall activities so when I got this collection I was really happy because it was perfect for what I needed to document and it's almost Halloween again and I haven't, I hadn't even um, done a layout of last year's Halloween. So it's been a year. And, and actually the Halloween before that, I haven't scrapbooked that either. So uh, I'm going to be working on those layouts. So you might see more fall and Halloween layouts coming up because I need to get that done before Halloween rolls around again. <laughs> So now I've matted my photo with a couple of pieces of the 6x6 six six paper pad and I'm going to add these borders of the butterfly paper. I just kind of ripped the edge with my fingers and I'm going to tuck that in behind my layers too. And that little vellum piece with the spider webs is also part of this collection. Um, I just had a, a stripe, a, a stripe, <laughs> I had a strip of it left and I just tore it in half because I'm planning to do more uh, layouts so I know that I can use it the same way that I used it on here with a different photo. So I'm just tucking in this butterfly paper and then I'm gonna start putting my layout together. This layout was honestly one of those layouts that I thought, um, oh my god this is just a hot mess. I don't know if it's gonna turn out okay. I'm kind of liking the way it looks, but kind of not. Like, I kind of um, 
I'm not really the type of person to like start over. <laughs> I lay out once I start it, I kind of just stick with it and finish it. Um, I feel like I always learn something new when I do that. But if I was one of if I was someone to that enjoys, you know, just ripping the layout apart and starting over, I think I would have done that with this layout. So up to this point, I was pretty happy and now I had to find embellishments to go along with this. And that's where I started having a hard time. So the this flower is from the 6x12 sticker pack. And that was fine. And then I started looking for the ephemera to go with it. And there was just so many choices. And everything was so beautiful. And I wanted to use everything. And at the same time, um, it's, I, I didn't know how I was going to add enough embellishments without adding too much and overwhelming everything because the background is already so busy. So I decided to stick with just some clusters here. And um, I'm popping up this this little um, jack-o'-lantern on some foam dots so that it can have some dimension. Um, when I got the Midnight Hunting Collection, I also got a couple of ephemera packs from um, the Pebbles Fall Collection. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but uh, that's where some of these leaves came from. So now um, I'm trying to do another cluster on the right, but um, it just wasn't looking right. Like It was just too much. And for some reason, that top there, the little enamel pin that I had chosen, that wasn't looking right either. So I kind of figured out that I needed some of that yellow that's on the leaf behind the pumpkin up on top. And that I needed to keep the cluster on the right smaller because even just a couple leaves was making that look too big. So then I got this little butterfly from the sticker pack and I put that on some foam dots and that's perfect right there. And I'm switching out the pin so that it's a, a yellow ochre, kind of like the leaf behind the pumpkin. And that that makes me a lot happier. That looks much better. And then I found this puffy sticker pack of um, jack-o'-lanterns and Halloween things. And I'm adding some pumpkins to each cluster. And all in different colors. Like I'm bringing some of the darker red up to the top. And after this I kind of figure that I should start working on my title. And the thickers that come with this collection are called Spooky I believe. And they're like a matte gold that matches the gold finish on the embellishments. And oh my god they're so beautiful. Oh um, there's this little um, freckled fawn label. I got it from one of their um, blooper bags. So stickers that are printed not completely perfect um, are sold at um, discounted prices. And I can never tell that they're not perfect. Like everything I receive is usable. It's perfectly fine. But apparently it's not in good enough to sell at regular price. So they sell it at discounted prices. And, you know, I'm pretty happy to grab that whenever I can. Because I really can't tell what's wrong with it. <laughs> so here, here's those um, thickers. They're called, the font is called Spooky, I believe. And that matte gold is the same finish um, as the accents in the Midnight Haunting collection. And it's just beautiful. I've been using those too. So I'm going to try to kind of um, keep that in the, these papers that I got for my guest designer spot as like a little kit to work on um, on my Halloween and fall layouts that I still need to get done. And I felt like um, it was kind of messy there, the, the square, the black square in on the pumpkin paper, it just seemed a little messy. So I decided to get my gold uh, mist. Then this is the this is the Prima color blue color bloom mist in Aztec gold, and I got a, a liner brush 
to dip it in my gold and I outlined it a couple several times. And I think that just looks a lot better. That gives it a little more definition and it's kind of consistent with my other layouts where I doodle an outline with a pen, except this time I did it with an ink. So I typed out my journaling and I cut it and now I'm gonna add it right here towards the middle. And I'm just trying to get under that vellum so that it looks like it all belongs together. And um, that is pretty much it. I noticed that I've also added some little stars to my clusters. And those are also from Freckled Fawn. And now stay tuned at the end for some close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.